2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And this was the Hornets pulling into the arena. A lot of the guys dressed in their very best. Now they turn their attention toward picking up a win in enemy territory. But traffic in New York City making its way back and forth between Manhattan and the borough of Brooklyn. Our setting tonight. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Chris Weber is joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Hart. DA, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Kevin Durant is a champion, but he said, growing up, I never thought about titles. I just wanted to be the best player I could be. When I got to the league, I was listening to all the noise and it was taking control of my mind. For me, mentally, I have to just focus on my craft. Guys, the results have flown since then. Clearly. David, thank you. A chance here to rank the top rookies in the NBA. The race for the rookie of the year. How about these guys? Oh, what a group. He's gotten off to a blazing start and has settled into that number two spot in the rankings. A lot of season left for him to jump to number one, though. And really not surprised with the kind of talent he possesses to be ranked second already. Well, guys, it hasn't taken long at all to see what an impact play he's going to be in this league. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. Ball is the point with Book Knight on the wing. Clark is out there with Jones. And it's Oubre in at the three spot. And for Brooklyn, Trey Lyles out there with Christie. And it's Durant. Then it's Thomas. And it's Irving at the point guard. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Greg, their spirits are running sky high right now. And it's such a great feeling to come out strong. But it's hard to maintain that consistency. The teams that do, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strength. Ball no good. And here are the Nets. Last time they came together was in Charlotte, where they fell to the Hornets. Yeah, and last time out, they sort of shot themselves in the foot with the foul trouble. That was what led to them having such an ugly scoreline. Oh, yeah, the guys, they need to lead the way. Uh, they spent far too much time on the bench. I mean, they'll be more careful. Now here's Jones. Some nice pass in here by Charlotte. Irving with the ball. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. And that's a quick foul for him there. It looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Booknight. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Philadelphia. And the jam by Uber. A powerful finisher, Oubre Jr. You deserve to get dumped on when you let him get inside. Outside Thomas. Ball against Irving. Outside, KD. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Ball, and Ball slams it in. And a little bit of showmanship from Ball on that slam, displaying some athletic ability. There's the pass to Christie. Outside Irving. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well, they tailored their offense around him. Let me tell you, he loves playing in the system. Ball, the pass to Jones. Two fouls and we're not even out of the first quarter. That, that's not a good pace to set. And Brooklyn making a change here. Sumner's checked in. Coming up on the floor for your Nets, Edmund Sumner. And so it's Charlotte with it, trailing by two. Ball against Wyatt. Ball, no good. That works just like they drew it up. Until the part where he short arms the layup. Durant down low. 
He's against Clark. That one good for two. And you never hear about it, but the brand is very strong. That allows him to finish on shots like that. Outside, ball to the middle. That's tipped. Christie against Clark. Now here's Irving. Guarded close. Pass to Sumner. It's Clark with the rebound. Hornets trail by four. Outside, ball. Inside, here's Jones, and Jones slams it home. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a center, but with his ability to go vertical, he sure plays big. Yeah, and Brandon Clark, a dangerous finisher. Not only as a dunker, but his floater game is on point as well. Well, you see why the Sean Marion comparisons are made. I mean, that great touch combined with this vertical leap, you know, they make him a handful. Of and it's good for two. Jones has got his second basket of the night. And Ball is a proven distributor. He's got a real talent for spotting the cracks in the deep. Outside, KD. From outside the arc, that one misses. Now, Charlotte takes it the other way. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. In-game adjustments are critical. They did an awesome job taking what the defense gave them. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Lyles. Pass to Christie. Now Lyles. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And again, it's the Nets missing. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's a tough stretch he's going through. Ball dishes to Clark. Right side, Jones. Oubre outside. Puts it up from 15. Kevin Durant with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there toward the deep. He's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. Here's Ball, and Ball slams it in. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Oh, you know what it is, one play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get oh, going man. offensively. The court. Come on. Yeah, they might be pressing the court. Court. forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. Brooklyn making some changes. He's checked in, and Lewis subbed in for Durant. And then for Charlotte, Horton Jocker comes in for Kelly Oubre, and Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Ball. Here's Sumner. Here's E. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Now, with all the intensity he plays with, Boxing him out is a chore. Tough. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Kyrie Irving. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Right against Schroeder. Passes to Harrell. Lock at six. Schroeder against Christie. The offensive rebound. The pass to Horton Tucker. Tip back in for two. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Oakland trailing. Who is outside? Pass to Christie. Shoots over Schroeder. The shot's good from Christie. Bounce pass is the ticket there. Very nice assist. The Hornets have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Schroeder outside. Pass to Horton Tucker. Harrell with it. Guarded by Wright. Harrell, that's good. 
And the Hornets lead by two. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Pass to Christie. Over Harrell. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. Since he's wide open, he's got time to add a little style with the fade Here's Schroeder. Off target from three-point range. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Sumner's shot is off. Hornets have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. Two points. That one goes. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Now here's Wright. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Shoots the three. Rebound by Harrell. Charlotte has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And here is Booknight. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. And it's Harrell missing. The net shooting in this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Now here's Wright. And Lewis has it in the corner. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Here's Horton Tucker. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. And what makes Book Knight so difficult to guard? His ability to hit jumpers off the bounce. He's got a great handle and the quickness to create separation. I know it's unpopular with the analytics crowd, but his pull-up from mid-range is money. And that one falls for Book Knight. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice, soft touch on his free throws. Time out, time out. Time out. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Timeout called the Nets. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high-percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. against right. E, the pass to Christie. Here's Sumner. He's defended by Harrell. Five on the clock. Three-pointer right. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. To the inside. Lewis covering. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Six points for him. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Nets trail by six. Here's Sumner. He had 15 points last out. To end the cold streak. He doesn't hit that one. Great D that time from Harrell. They've been sensational on the backdoor to start this game. Lynette shooting only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. It's tipped. Schroeder with the ball. Now right defender. Pulls up for three. Two minutes to play. Rebound by Sumner. And here's Brooklyn. Six-point game. Outside for Lewis. Here's Sumner. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Down to five on the shot clock. Good work there as it goes. Hornets leading by four. 
And there's the pass to Schroeder. To the paint. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition these baskets like this. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That's his first foul. Irving's checked in for the Nets. Ball's checked in for the Hornets. Seven left to play in the first quarter. Right against Schroeder. Six on the shot clock. And right kicks to Yee. There's three pointers off the mark. Charlotte in the lead. Right looking around. Dishes it to Lewis. Pass to Irving. Fires the three. That shot off the mark. And another miss. Ooh. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. Kicks it out to Schroeder. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Guarded by Wright. Just two to shoot. From past the arc. Brooklyn with the rebound. Pass to Irving. Misses off the left iron. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Back right after this. Well, plenty of firepower, but Kyrie Irving committed to digging in at the defensive end as well. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it without our bigs and our consistent effort from our wings as well, helping me out. You know, I may not make the right play every time on defensive end, but, uh, you know, we're, we're doing a great job of covering for one another. And, uh, you know, I cover for my teammates as well as they cover for me. So, you know, that's just a tribute to our, uh, our team success on the defensive end. It's been a real focus, hasn't it, Greg, for them to tighten things up defensively? And it's a collective effort. So even the scorers have to be engaged and exert themselves in order to get stops. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game, guys. We've been watching from the Hornets. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So for Brooklyn now, they've got Thomas. Christie is out there with Durant. Then there's Irving. And it's Lewis in at the small four. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you for the baton, Kevin. Kyrie Irving, of course, marches to the beat of his own drum. At times, that might rub people the wrong way. But Kyrie says, I've learned lessons from it. That's the most beautiful and exciting part, just the growth. What I'm saying is, it's always been bigger than the game for me. And guys, you have to respect his willingness to go it alone. You do indeed, D.A. Thank you for that portrait. And the call will be against Lamelo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. And the Nets may get a change here. Isles checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Clark's checked in. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Here's Ball. 17 points for him last game against Philadelphia. And his big night wasn't limited to his offense. His steals numbers were way up there. And it was a special night for him in just about every way. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Lewis with it. 
Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Five to shoot. Here's KD. Does not score with that shot. It's his second miss against two made shots. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, and they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. This is it to Lyles. Now Kevin Durant. He has five. The pass to Thomas. Or the three. Can't hit that one. And the Hornets now going the other way. Down low. Here's Clark. And there it is for him. Brandon Clark. And now a 10-point Charlotte lead. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. Pass to Lewis. Outside Irving. Three-pointer. It's Clark with the rebound. Clark's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Ball. Makes it off the glass. Ball's got the lead up to 12 now for Charlotte. And he's really a smart offensive player. You have to respect Ball's strong sense for when to take that jump. Irving's shot is good. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Oubre passes the ball. Shoots over KD. The kick out to Ball. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Oh, and here we go with Durant. Nobody back. And then Durant with the jam. Great anticipation. Quick hands. Who's saying Irving can't play defense? Ball against Durant. Charlotte moving it around. Back to ball. Oubre outside. Four on the shot clock. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. Greg, you've got a unique view of the league. Not just a former player, but great broadcaster. Courtside all these games. But also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about, it creates a, a special bond. And to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible. And what a blessing. Uh, I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. I find it really interesting to talk to KD about his origins says every memory he had growing up involved basketball. All right. Skip prom and stuff like that. He was just focused on the game. And the Hornets making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. Make some noise, fans. On defense, the Nets trailing here by eight. Outside, ball. Back to Clark. Jones trying to get open. No good from Clark. And Durant grew up in a tough environment. We all know that. Basketball, Greg, was the only way out. As it has been for so many NBA players, you feel bad for guys with great talent who get derailed along the way. It takes so much hard work and discipline and luck just to have a chance at making it. And one Next. step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Timeout called the Nets. <laughs> and thinking about the energy that Oubre plays with, always, Chris, very active on the floor. And, and that's something that is always out there for Oubre. Even if the shot is off, he's still a spark plug for this team. Something that endears you to your teammates. Edmund Sumner's checked in for the Nets. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Hook Knight, he's checked in for ball. Shot clock at six. And there's the foul. It's on Trey Lyles. That's his first foul. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Kelly Oubre. Dennis Schroeder. Hornets leading by ten. And here's Schroeder. 
He's coming off a 16-point game against Philadelphia. And it was an unselfish night for him as well. He got plenty of assists to go along with all those points. His first foul. First team And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Charlotte. Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. That's good from Schroeder. The Nets making the switch here. He's checked in. them both now here's Durant 17 points for him last game against Cleveland and his scoring is going to get most of the attention but his rebounding also stood out he did a lot of glass cleaning in that game sinks the three-pointer Durant's got 12 points in the game and a go-to shot for KD I mean, he's got to shoot jumper Rebound by Sumner. Nets trail by nine. Pass to Durant. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. To the wing on the left. Here's Book Knight. And Book Knight slams it in. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two hand slam. Sumner passes to E. Passes it to Durant. He takes it in, and he makes that one. KD's got nine points in the quarter. Oh, man, the versatility Durant offers, driving, spotting up, using his post game. I mean, he does it well. The pass to Horton Tucker. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. The next game is in Cleveland taking on the Cavaliers. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for him. KD's shot is good. He's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Charlotte calls timeout. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. Right, he's checked in for Trey Lyons. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They lead by seven. Second chance shot. Brooklyn with the rebound. And he'll be happy there in front. He knows better than anyone else that he's still without a bucket. He won't be happy with that. Now here's Thomas. 32 points for him last game against Cleveland. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points any way possible. Shot clock at three. Here's E. That one off the back iron and out. Hornets leading by seven. Here's Book Knight. Schroeder outside. Kicks it to Harold. Pass to Horton Tucker. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. And the Hornets lead by nine. No, but sometimes you don't need a haymaker, just, just a jab. You, you got to get those easy looks inside. Here's Sumner. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. For the Nets, they come into this one following a loss to Cleveland. Inside, Harrell the pass to Horton Tucker. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Loads it up there for Harrell. Hammers the alley through. 
Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Sumner's shot is off. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work on down low. And there's the foul. It's on James Bookner. That is his first foul of the game. Christie, he's checked in for Brooklyn. For your next. Schroeder against Wright. And again, it's the Nets missing. Hornets leading by nine. Two minutes to play. Second quarter. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Now, here's Thomas. No points in the game yet for him. Chris. The kick out to right. No good from outside. Charlotte shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. And DeLon Wright gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And the Hornets making a change here. Coming off of the floor for the away team. Number 22. One twenty-seven left in the first half of basketball. Here's Horton Tucker. Oh, another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Thomas passes to E. Here's Wright. Here's Sumner. He is defended by Harold. The shot misses. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Here's Horton Tucker. Uses both hands to slam it down. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Right down low, guarded by Schroeder, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. To the middle. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Here's Sumner. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Got a piece of it. Again, the Hornets score. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Right against Schroeder. Right dishes to Thomas. Here's Christie. Doesn't go for him. Oh. <laughs> Sloppy finish. The D was giving him the layup. He just didn't stay with it. And so it's Charlotte riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And you have to credit their defense for the job they've been doing against Irving. Kyrie's been almost invisible out there, and we don't say that very often. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. With Coach James Borrego, what is going to make the difference in the second half? We need a good start. We're going to talk to the guys right now. they got to come out with the same energy they started the game with. Attack mode, attack mode from the start. That's led to some great things, and we'll see if that continues. Coach, thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. After the first two quarters of play, it's Charlotte in control. They lead by 15. Kenny, how'd you see it? How good are these guys on the fast break? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, blowout city. And over to Shaq now, your take on the Nets. And one of the main reasons they're down right now is because of their rebounding problems. They're getting out one, out class, not bringing the intensity, not willing to get their hands dirty. They're playing like wimps. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Mm -hmm. 
And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? Keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. On the court for the Hornets, all is the point with Book Knight on the wing. Brandon Clark is out there with Oubre, and it's Jones in at the five. Lock at six. Here's Book Knight, and Book Knight slams it in. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. A nice shot by Katie. This is where Durant feasts. I mean, he, he, he can let it fly, and he has confidence. Here's Book Knight. Good D by Thomas. That's trail by 14. Durant, the pass to Christie. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. Christie's got 10 points. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. It's hauled in by Lyle. The net shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Christie can't make it. Charlotte leading by 12. Jones, the pass to ball. Lobbed up there for Clark. An emphatic LU jam. Good creation by Ball off that pick and roll. He, he can find clever ways to beat the defense. Pass to Christie. And here is KD. And the Nets, another three. They're on target from the start of the half. I mean, they're moving well. They're getting some good shots. Uh, that makes them three for four from the field since halftime. Now here's Book Knight. He has six. Misses from short range. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that was a stunt. And with LaMelo Ball, this team struck gold. Uh, exactly what the Hornets needed. Great production and a face of the franchise type of talent. Now here's Book Knight. Here's Clark. Charlotte again missing. That's trail by 11. Here's Christie. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second first. You know, great thinking about LaMelo and this team. He's got the fans here in Charlotte excited. And Kevin, let's be honest here for a moment. The Hornets haven't had a lot of luck in the draft. Finally, they knocked one out of the park, and the fans are ecstatic. He throw good, Christie. The dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting, with some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Uh, well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case, and, and really the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor, and maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. And the Hornets call time here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Passes it to Book Knight. It's hauled in by Thomas. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held them back as a team. Who is outside? And 
And the pass to Christie. Just five to shoot. The kick out to Irving. Pass to Thomas. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. Outside Lewis. Craps in the tray. Lewis has got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. And here is Booknight. Six points for him. The drive by ball. And we knew LaMelo was talented coming into the league. What we didn't quite know was how much of an impact he would make in terms of controlling the flow of the game. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Hornets? Look, for mid-range, they've been deadly all day. It's really opened things up for them at the other end of the floor. Yeah, but also give them credit for the layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the basket. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Irving surveying the floor. Pass to Lewis. Thomas with the ball. Outside Irving. Six on the shot clock. Passes to Christie. Over Jones. That one a little long. That's one he knows he should have drained. Baseline try. That one drops for him. He's got six. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Now here's Thomas. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Stolen by Ball. Now the pass to Clark. High arcing shot. Jones dishes to Clark. To the inside. Miles passes to Christie. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. His first foul, team second. The Nets have gone two for two in the game at the line. Yeah, the line. You've got to appreciate two. their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. He throw good Christie and Brooklyn making a change here he's checked in and Christie drops them both I like that he's playing with the edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. Lewis against Ball. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Taken third overall in 2020. LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Right, he's checked in for Thomas. Ball hits them both. And it's right with the ball for the Nets. 11 point game. Outside Irving. Unloads from 13. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. 17 points was their biggest margin. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Uh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Outside for Lewis. Pass to right. Jacks up a three. 
doesn't get it to drop for him. And Charlotte will come the other way. Charlotte moving it around. Oubre on the wing. He's covered by Irving. Jones, no luck. Nets trail by 13. Right outside. Pass to Christie. Over ball. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Here's Oubre. Rebounded by E. Brooklyn's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Lewis misses. Hornets leading by 13. Here's Ball. It balls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Nice game. Great performance so far by LaMelo Ball. He's run a while. They had to call a timeout just to take away at least some of his momentum. Edmund Sumner's checked in for the Nets. The Nets shooting just 34% from the floor. Right outside. Christie against Harrell. Christie can't make it. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Oh, man. An awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. Now here's Schroeder. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. And, and Ball continues to show he can drain threes. The defense must adjust or he is going to keep doing damage. Here's E. Pass to right. Six to shoot. That one's off. Still out of sync. And if you're looking for the main reason that they're trailing in this game, well, look no further than his shooting. I mean, he has hit exactly 0% of his shots. The pass to Christie. Right against Schroeder. Right down low. And the Nets miss again. Well, I'm surprised he's still out. There. He's been invisible at the offensive end all game long. And know. the ball travels out of bounds. Ball. His last touch by Schroeder. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The Nets making a switch here. Durant's checked in. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Clark, he's checked in for Harrell. Nets trail by 18. Right with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Off target at the rim. It's time for him to start looking for other options. They can't let him keep shooting. His touch is gone. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. Horton Tucker's got six points. Oh, look, when the D will give it to you, that's where you want your shots coming from. Arms length from the bucket. KD with it. Guarded now by Clark. Sumner gets to right. Pass to Sumner. Knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Thomas checked in for Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving comes in for right. For your nets. Cameron Thomas. Kyrie Irving. And here's KD for three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Lewis. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. No good from Durant. 
Here's Charlotte now. Really controlling it now with an 18-2 run here. Here's Horton Tucker, and that one is stuffed right through. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defensive end as well. Now here's Lewis. Nobody near Irving. Drills it from outside. Irving's got eight points. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But, but it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. It's deflected. Stolen by Durant. Pass to Irving. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Dennis Schroeder. Oh, we see how elusive Irving is, and he uses this skill <laughs> to draw Irving. contact on the way up. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction, but Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy soundbite. And the handles Irving possesses I mean, unreal. The great Isaiah Thomas, Hall of Famer Isaiah Thomas, told me Irving might have the best handles he's ever seen. And Brooklyn making a change here. Lyles checked in. Book Knight, he's checked in for Charlotte. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now here's Schroeder. 50 seconds left in the third. Here's Clark, and then Clark slams it in. And all of his athleticism on display there. Clark's work ethic makes him lethal on that offensive backboard. Clark against Irving. KD passes to Lyles. Shoots over Schroeder, and again, it's the Nets missing. Charlotte leading by 21. Clark trying to get open. A bat in on the layup. Six points for Dennis Schroeder. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Irving from long range. Trains it from beyond the arc. Irving's got 13 points. Another area where Irving is lethal. I mean, sweet release on his three ball. Lamelo Ball getting it done for Charlotte. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Thomas is out there with Irving. And it's Durant. Then it's Trey Lyons. And it's Lewis in at the three. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And that one drops. Irving's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Nets. I mean, he's a strong finisher. He exhibits great body control. Irving, he's a special talent. Passes it to Book Knight. Clark trying to get open. And there's the pass to Horton Tucker. Good on the triple. And the Hornets lead by 21. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Now here's Lewis. Outside Irving. Pass to KD. Lock at six. Shoots from 12. The shot comes out, and Charlotte will go the other way with it. And there's the foul. It's on Trey Lyons. And that'll be his third foul so far. Jones checked in for the Hornets. Kai Jones. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. 
now here's Book Knight. That shot is off. Good D by Thomas. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense, he's not been there for the night. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. It's good. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Irving passes to Lewis. Now, here's Lyons, defended by Jones. And it's Durant missing. Hornets leading by 21. Here's Schroeder. The rebound by the Nets. Miles got rebound number five here tonight. Thomas finds Irving. It's Clark with the rebound. Clark's got eight rebounds in this game. Jones in the post. Thomas is there. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Starting with the 2021 season, the G League welcomed the Ignite team. A few top prospects to join it. Skip college. Uh, Chris, how do you like that? You know, I think it's great. I mean, getting 17, 18-year-olds into pro ball, uh, you, when you really know that's where they uh, want to end up. The grueling schedule is a huge adjustment. Oh, take a break. Uh, the physical a break. aspect, eating right, working out, uh, time management. I, I think it's a great step to help you prepare for this tough league we call the NBA. The first free throw is good. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Christie, he's checked in for Lewis. The Hornets also with a sub. Oubre is checked in. And so Jones nails both of them. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. The three from KD. Offensive rebound, Nets. Irving from long range. That one doesn't go. He's been cold, and it's been hurting him. D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. Shooter passes to Book Knight. Looking to end his cold spell. Here's Jones. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Jones has got four this quarter. And one of the stories of the second has has been all of those second chance points. I mean, they have been terrific on the offensive backboard. Here's Christie. Outside Irving. Durant against Oubre. Durant inside. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Oh, what a luxury it is to have someone like Durant on the floor to give you a decent look no matter how many ticks are left on the shot clock. Now here's Book Knight. Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I, I think the players today are so much smarter and they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game, but they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. So it's the Hornets now following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. Hands it from downtown. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. to Wiles. Outside Durant. The Nets working the ball around now. Thomas, no luck. And you can see why he might be off on some of his attempts, getting far fewer shots today than he's accustomed to. Now here's Book Knight. He's guarded by Thomas. And one Book step Knight. ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Thomas got his first bucket of the night. 
Good recognition from Durant. He's a talented passer. Charlotte calls timeout. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now we've got healthy players sitting out of game. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best player. His first foul. First team foul. At the line. Stepping the line with two shots. He's off on the first. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. He's checked in. Kevin Durant comes in for Joe Harris. Thomas checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Raul Neto. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Balls checked in for Dennis Schroeder. That one misses. And the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005. Now, player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you get fined if you didn't wear dress socks with your suit. So we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks yeah you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there now here's book night over e and that one goes long that's trail by 21 outside durant over Ubre. durant no good he's gone off the rails this quarter and it's a bad time to do it i mean when they're needing to fight from behind Oats one up, rebounded by the Nets. KD's got six rebounds now in the game. His scoring has not been there at all tonight. I mean, it tells you a lot about their team, that they have the lead in. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. Book Knight passes to Clark. Here's Ball. Second shot opportunity, and Clark with the lay-in. And the Hornets lead by 21. You got to know, this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. Jones against Christie. We've heard the calls for more diversity among head coaches, Greg. With the turnover this offseason came a lot of opportunity. And Kevin, that's really what it's all about, right? The league's values of diversity and inclusion have been really pushed to the forefront. And I think that's one reason why our game is so popular globally because it is so inclusive. Thirteen foul. At the line for Charlotte, James Booknight. Yeah, at the line with two shots. Huh? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Miles check in for the Nets. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
Brooklyn's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Irving drives in. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Here's Clark, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Fourth personal. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. And the NBA introducing new measures to discourage fan misconduct. Greater security and pursuing legal action, Chris, when that line is crossed. But yeah, Kevin, we're living in interesting times, my friend. People may need to blow off steam, but i tell you this, the players are here to entertain, but not as punching bags. And that one falls for Clark. Uh, the potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. Here is Kersey. Passes it to Neto. Clark against KD. Shot clock at five. Looking to end the run. It doesn't go for him. And the Hornets now going the other way. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. And it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Harris outside. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. KD looking around. And that one drops for him. Durant's got 26 points. I mean, you can see the D just a little slow getting to the bucket. I mean, he'll make you pay for that. Taken away. Harris against Porter. Joe Harris, and that's good. Yeah, and they are living and dying from beyond the arc since halftime. It's a different look than what we saw in the first half. Now here's Wall. On the wing, Porter. Back to Wall. There's the pass to Clark. Six on the shot clock. And Porter, here we go. The kick out to Wall. Porter dishes to Fox. Here's Wall. It's hauled in by Harris. Nets trail by 21. Here's Kersey. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. We're so fortunate to have so many versatile bigs in today's NBA, Chris. But of those bigs, who do you enjoy watching the most? Oh, well, I love watching Jokic and, and, and B. I mean, have you seen what those guys can do? Post up, step out, hit threes, uh, control that corner action. Or they're able to carry their team. Two. That free throw, no good. So for the Nets. Christie, he's checked in for Harris. Thomas comes in for Alex Caruso. And Irving subbed in for Raul Neto. So he comes up empty, missing both. Two minutes to play. Charlotte leading by 21. Here's Book Knight. Here's Clark. And the Hornets miss again. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. Durant up top, covered by Oubre. Durant, no good. Charlotte has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's Ball. Hands it from short range. Ball's got 12 points in just the second half. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Hornets. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And once the horn sounds, they're going to go up 2-0 in the season series.
and we've come to expect nothing less from one of the league's elite players. But another tour de force for LaMelo Ball. Wow, he owned this game. He never stopped working. He did it all for them, and you can't help but admire that kind of effort. On the basket by Jones. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. Now here's Durant, and Durant gets double teamed. Thomas, it's a wide open look. Buries the long range jumper. Great decision, great find. I mean, draws the double team and passes out of it to create the open look. Moving against Ball. No good that time. Irving passes to Durant. Over Jones. The kick out to Irving. So no problem for Charlotte as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, you guys. Brandon, what were you doing defensively to change this game? Um, I would just uh, get in stops and then just kind of running, really. It was just pace, really. Um, it was just stops and just runs, and then we just kind of got some really, really easy baskets, so they just kind of got us that lead. It was a great performance, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.